Hello again, everybody. So it's been uh, about four days since my last video. Um, today I'm going to show you guys a great card trick, but I have something else. So I was going, uh, we know how the Lord says to incorporate him into our daily lives and into everything that we do. So I'm going to start incorporating Bible verses into these card tricks, and then I'm going to try and choose a card trick that's related to the verse. So Bible Gateway's verse of the day today is, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demon, demons, neither the present or the future, nor any powers, neither height or de nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in, G in Christ Jesus our Lord. So that was really cool. Now here's how I'm going to relate this to a card trick. What I'm going to do is we're not supposed to ever be separated from God. And I want you guys to not be separated from God either. But I also don't want you guys to be separated from this channel. So please subscribe to get all these great card trick videos coming up and Bible verse of the day, Bible Gateway. If you don't have it, it's a cool app. It's called Bible Gateway. Anyway, we're going to get into the trick. Okay, so what I need here is I'm going to pick out four cards that you guys can't see. Okay, there's three cards. I picked out two at the same time. All right, there's four cards. So we're going to have the four mystery cards sitting in plain view the whole time right over here. Now we're going to take the rest of the pack. We can shuffle that up. And we can give the deck a couple of cuts, just like this, if you'd like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, I mean, you have a spectator. If, if I had a spectator with me, I'd have them select any card they like. So let's say they select this card right over here. Okay, now I'm not going to look at the card, but I want you guys to take a peek at the card. And this will be my cameraman, Luke's card. Okay, so Luke, I want you to memorize this card, okay? Now, I'm not going to see it, okay? Now, we're going to leave your card down right here on the table. Now, I'm going to set it right on top of the pack, and we're going to lose it into the center of the deck, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, four mystery cards, which happen to be the four kings, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to count off the kings here, okay? So we're going to show you that we indeed do have four kings, okay? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the king of spades. I'm going to take the king of hearts, okay? You guys clearly see that we have four kings, king of diamonds and the king of clubs, okay? Now, what we're going to do is, is we are going to flip all these cards over, and we're going to take these cards Okay, I'm going to take the four kings. Now, what I personally believe is I, I believe that the red kings can find your card faster than the black kings can, okay? So we're just going to flip the red kings over right here, and we're going to set the red kings down on the table, okay? Now we have the two black kings. Okay, so I'm going to set one black king down right on the table. Okay, and I'm going to set the king of clubs down on the table. Now, I'm going to make the... Now, they're going to begin their search, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the king of spades forward so you can see it the whole time. I want you to keep an eye on this king of spades. Okay, now we're going to square up the pack, and it's gone. And also, the king of clubs is no longer on the bottom. So they're already in to their work. So the king of clubs is going to go through this pile. The king of spades is going to go through this pile. And I actually think they've sped it up a little bit, and they are done. Okay, so they've trapped one card, and I think they may have found your card. They found your card. The two red kings. Right? Okay, well then that means that this card, yes, this card must be your card. The queen of clubs. Okay, so I hope you guys like the trick. Now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a tutorial for this trick. After well, you know what? I I'll save this for later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you this right now. But there's going to be some videos in the future where I don't give a tutorial unless I can get a certain number of likes. But this won't be one. So I'm going to show you the tutorial. This trick is called Casino Royale with Cheese by Chris Mayhew. So here's what we're going to do. You, There really is no setup except you have to set the four kings up like this. It doesn't matter with the suits, but you want the black kings on the outside and the red kings in the middle, just like this. Okay, now you can start them out with on the table and say we have the four mystery whoa whoops and you can say okay we have the four mystery cards and then the rest of the deck can be shuffled up just like this okay and what you can do is you can have a spectator select any card in the deck that they like so let's say they select this card right over here 
the seven of spades, okay? So you have the seven of spades, you're gonna do this right on top of the deck, and you're gonna do this move, okay? It makes you look like you're gonna lose the spectator's card into the deck. But watching, this is what I did, okay? Now watch what I did it really in slow-mo. I took the bottom card off of whatever I cut, and you pe you have your thumb on top, and you act like you're gonna peel it off. You drag your thumb across, but when you drag your thumb across, well, I ex when you drag your thumb across, you actually take the bottom card. Like I did, I just took the Ace of Diamonds, and that leaves their Seven of Spades right on top. So now, while you while they're not looking, you get a little pinky break uh, under the top card, and you're gonna introduce the Four Kings. Whoops. I didn't get all four. All right, this is, all right, so you're going to square it up and uh, do a classic steal away. So I just stole their card. Now you get a thumb break under their, above their card. So it's just like this, okay? Now this is the hardest part. Uh, this is where the most sleight of hand is involved. You have to kind of hide this card. So when you put the king of spades down, whoops, I accidentally put all four kings down. When you put the king, first king down, you're going to get a pinky break under that king. So you have a pinky break under the king of spades. Now, before you peel the king of diamonds off, you let this card go and get a ring finger break above this card. So then you peel off the king of diamonds, you have a ring finger break right under it, then the king of hearts, then the king of clubs. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you have two breaks, a ring finger break and a pinky break. You're going to lift up all the cards above the ring finger break and flip them over just like this, retain that pinky break, and just steal away all five cards. Now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the top two cards and move them to the bottom, just like this. Now you're gonna show the two red kings. Now be careful to not flash. This is what you're gonna have now. You're gonna have black king face up, spectator's card face up, black king face down, red king, red king. So here's what you're going to do. Okay, so you're going to take the two red kings, and actually what you're going to do, you're going to say you're going to flip the two red kings over. You're going to flip, okay, you say this. You actually flip over all the cards except the bottom king, and you flip them all over just like this. Now you're going to take the top card. You make it look, you hold it in a way that makes it look like there's two cards just like this with all your four fingers right here, and your thumb right here. You're putting the spectator's card down right on the table. Now you slide off the bottom king and say, okay, we have the two black kings. You lift up this chunk of three cards, which is the black king with the two red kings, and you say, we're gonna take the black king, we're gonna face it, place up, place it face up on the table, and then this regular king, place it on the bottom. Now what I did is I don't know the name of this color change, but here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna press this king forward, and you're gonna use the back of your palm to almost slide a card up, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to slide it up over the king, square it up, and it puts it in the second position with now a red king on top. Now what you do to make the king of clubs disappear is you're going to slide, you know the bottom card's the king, so you're going to slide it in the direction that your hand is. So if you're right-handed, you're going to slide it to the right. If you're left-handed, you're going to slide it to the left. Now I'm right-handed, so I slid it to the right. And then you peel off the next card to your non-dominant hand and area, so point slide out to the left if you're right-handed, to the right if you're right-handed. And it looks like the king of clubs has disappeared. Now what you do is you can either do a Herman pass or what you can do is, which, and this is, that's a more advanced move. So this is what I did. You cut the cards in half just like this and you say, okay, one king's going through this pile, the other's going through this pile. And you know this is the bottom pile, just, you know, mix it like that. And you say they're done. So here's what happens. You spread through the cards and now, you're gonna sit, you act like you pick up these three cards, you actually steal away this bottom card, okay? So get a break under that bottom card. Whoops. Okay, so get a pinky break under that bottom card. So when you say you're gonna take three cards away, you take four. So here's what you do, because these are the two red kings. So what you're gonna do now is you slide off the king, then you slide off this card. Okay, now you hold this this packet of two just like this, and this packet of two just like a regular pack. You can show this card because they think it's only one card, you could say, okay, we found, the kings found your card, the two red kings, and you do this, like, slide motion and flip it over. So this is what it looks like in slow-mo. You just flip this one over because it's already slid out. But with this one, what you do is you hold it like this, and as you twist, you're just going to press like this. So just press, so like, like this. Press and it shows the two red kings. And you're going to say, well, wait a minute, and then that means that, whoops, grab the wrong card. Let 
then that means that this card and you kind of like throw it just to show the card that's a move that I got from a, a million card tricks which is a pretty good channel you reveal that this card will be their card the seven of spades okay so I want you guys to subscribe to stick around for some more great Bible verses and card tricks coming up this was by Chris Mayhew Casino Royale with cheese funny name and I will see you guys in the next video coming up tomorrow. I will see you guys next time. Bye.